you know, lately, every time I talk to anybody from the fitness industry, I ask them to name their top five of all time list of bodybuilders. Do I have to answer that question, really? Please, Kevin. I, really, I can uh, give people, you my people, top people want to six. Know. I can give you okay. my top eight. Can you, can you give me top ten? Oh, of course. Oh, let's do top ten from Kevin. Arnold. Arnold, Arnold Schwarzenegger, because of the way he opened up the sport of bodybuilding and the encyclopedia that he wrote for us to follow. You know, mm -hmm. nobody never done what he had done. And he inspired so many of us. Lee Haney, because of his posing and what he stood for as a human being and as a man and as a family man and just such Lee Haney was a man's man, eight time Mr. Olympia. Nobody never done it like him. Dorian Yates, because Dorian Yates went against all odds, but what he had for his genetics, he made the best out of it. Dorian Yates was like the shadow. He didn't talk. You never know what was going to happen. He showed up. He was just getting bigger and better. Never complained, never said any one thing about anybody, but he's the guy that pushed me far beyond what I ever thought that I could do because he kept raising the bar. You know, Lee Labrada, because his phenomenal posing, his presentations, the way that Lee Labrada would stand back in a lineup at a full flex for an hour, hour and a half, two hours. And he always was so, so very, very consistent. Um, you got Sean Ray, who, uh, very, very young age, he was one of the youngest bodybuilders that came in at that young, Ronnie Coleman because I saw Ronnie Coleman uh, develop. And I remember talking to Ronnie, Ronnie would never even place in the Mr. Olympia. I, I just saw Ronnie Coleman's, his relentless uh, work ethic, not quitting and not giving up and how his body changed. And I've seen someone here to the top and he became one of the greatest Mr. Olympias ever as far as his stature and what he stood for. And he's a guy who never complained to this day. You see the inside of Ronnie Coleman and what made him a true lion, a true champion is because he doesn't complain, he doesn't give up. And you might see him walking around like that. You say, what pushes this man? And that's what's beautiful about Ronnie Coleman. And that's what made him so great. Not everybody can do that. Um, Flex Wheeler, passion, loving, caring, greatest genetics ever. Dexter Jackson I sit back and I think about him right now and what he's doing right now it's unbelievable Dexter is showing us that this is a healthy sport like Chris Cormier you know passionate very very passionate individual and I'm learning that Chris Cormier his brain and his thoughts and what he has to offer it long beyond his bodybuilding he might have been his greatest enemy on stage but look what he's doing now the passion that he has and giving to people um, I look at Kai Green, you know, and, 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 and what he's doing and where he came from. And he's just always propelling forward to bring out that, that inner being of, of that human being down inside of him that need to be expressed, expressed. And it's beautiful to see that he's found a space in a, in a sport that can allow him to do that. Heath, I mean, <laughs> you talk about Phil Heath, you talk about somebody that's just, a beautiful thing to see and a sight to see, you know? So that's the history of our sport. That's a great um, list of that's a great list of names. Yeah. Um and hey, you know what? I, I can't forget about my boy Jay Color. Oh yeah. That's you know, who I remember Jay, like you gotta think, man. I remember Jay and I watched Jay grow. And I remember Jay, and I remember there's a picture of me leaning down over top of Jay when he's on his back. You might have saw it. He's on his back, and I'm leaning over top of him. It almost looks like, you know, I'm leaning. I'm just leaning over top of him, but I'm giving him this pep talk, and I'm saying, listen, you can do this. You have to understand. And he's like, do you think I can do it? He's like, but you guys are my heroes. I don't want to go out there, you know, and, and go up against my heroes. I mean... I said, listen, forget about your heroes. Go out there and take the show. I said, you can bring Ronnie down, Jay. 
go do it. So those are all the greatest and all the greatest will always be all the greatest. You know, I just can't single out a top five. Bye-bye.